hello guys you're welcome to my channel again this is a home of fashion where they teach how to cut and sew varieties of tie so in today's tutorial i'll be teaching you guys how to cut this shape gown with handkerchief sleeve in a very easy way so guys please if you have not subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button now and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that whenever i post a new video you can get notified so this is the fabric i'll be using for this tutorial i have about six years of fabric and this is the black cotton bias that i'll be using for the chest design and the zip because this dress is going to carry zip at the back so guys let's open the fabric and let's start cutting it so the total length of this dress is going to be 60 so I'll be measuring 62 so this is it I have 62 now for the front and for the back and the and it's folded into four as you can see so right now I'm carrying one I'm carrying the front the one I'm going to use are the front pieces so I'm carrying it now I fold it I fold it so because I want to remove two inches from it then I'll set it to be equal with the back so that I can get my zipper allowance so I'm removing exact two inches from it now so I'm setting it back with the back piece This tutorial is going to be very simple straightforward just keep watching to see how we're going to achieve that so now I want to start from the neckline measurement the width is 4 inches by the depth is 6 You can decide to make your own to be a high neck, it just depend on how you want it. So just measure 2.5 inches for the depth of the back, it's a high neck at the back. So from here now my chest is 16 inches which is divided by 2, it's supposed to be 8 but I measure at 8.5, the half inches is going to be for same allowance so I come down to locate to locate my arm hole point which is from shoulder down to nine to nine inches so I make a curve to get my arm hole then I still measure from shoulder to my waistline so from shoulder now I'm still going to measure from shoulder to my hip line she says 29 so I still make a mark there so from here now I measure my round pulse divided by 4 my round pulse is 48 divided by 4 that is 14 then plus 2 inches same allowance or is allowance so the same thing to the waist to the waistline your waist my round waist divided by four plus two inches seam allowance or is allowance i'm going just going to be using one inch to join it at the side so i did the same thing to my hip so i just connect it together from the hip I add my I put my straight ruler to rule it down from the hip so right now I'm coming to the shoulder side I'm coming down by one inch for my shoulder slope so I confirm my armhole then I straighten it up so what I'm going to do now is to cut it out It's as simple as this. So 
so I'm folding it to set this aside so you can just to avoid sharp edge at the side you, I, I, I went up by half inch to make a, a trim so right now I'm about to cut the sleeve I'm cutting the upper part of the sleeve foot which, which is first which is from the shoulder to the elbow so I fold my cloth into four because I'm cutting the two sleeves together at the same time. So from my shoulder to the elbow is 10 inches. It's a 9 inches but I measure 10 inches. Then the sleeve mouth is supposed to be 7. Then I measure 8. Then armhole is 12. I measure 12.5. From there I connect down to the elbow. So I just make it curve like this. So I'm just cutting it out. It's zip. It's as simple as this so right now I'm going to be cutting the flare handkerchief on the downside of the sleeve so I folded my cloth into four like this So I have 19 inches in total. So I'm going to divide it into two. So right now I'm going to be folding it into four to cut the two fill it together at the same time. So remember we have eight so I'm just going to be measuring at four four for four inches we have eight at the mouth side of the sleeve so by the time we open up and take it up like this our anchor shape lay is ready so we're going to be attaching it to the sleeve that we cut earlier so I'm setting that aside so this is the front piece of my dress I place it on top of a piece to cut a facing for it you can use cutting bias to, to turn it in as a facing if you don't want to do this it's totally an optional because this dress is not carrying lining so I'll do the same thing to the back side So for the back side, I'm going to open it up because it's going to carry zip. So right now, I'll be cutting the loop that I will use as a design for the chest side so for the design on the chest you can decide to make any type of design you want so far you get your loop it's not a must that you must make exactly the design that you see on the thumbnail I'm trimming the savage so that it will not appear on the dress. So the width of this loop is two inches in total. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to be using the cutting by S to turn it up. So I'm just going to open it up. Then I'll gently open it this way. Then I'll stitch it through. I'll turn it to the other side and top stitch on it on the both side. So I'll go ahead and go and do that. And I'll come and show you the next thing to do. So guys, I've already used the facing to turn the back and I've already added the zip. 
I believe you know how to add a zip. So if you don't know, let me know on the comment section. So for the front side, I've already turned it also. This is it. So I've already for the M the the end of the handkerchief lay that we cut for the sleeve. As you can see, I've already fixed on the on the upper part of the sleeve, and this is our loop. I've used the cutting bias to turn it out. As you can see, how it's looking. So right now, I want to show you the design I want to be making on the chest. So I told you I'm not going to make the same design as like the one that you see on the thumbnail. So it's totally an optional. You can decide to use your loop to create any form of design that you want. So as for me, this is the one I'm making. So I place it like this. I use my mark to uh, my chalk to mark it so that I can place it exactly exact ex, ex, at exact point that I want to place it so the first one is going to go like that then I'm going to place the second one from upward like this so I'm still going to use my mark my chalk to make a mark So then the third one will be coming this way. So I measure to confirm to confirm the inches between the first and this last if it's the same thing so it's the same thing shift it a little bit to make to make it more look beautiful so I still use my chalk to mark it out so right now that I'm done marking them I'll gently take it to my machine then I'll follow the chalk and fix the designed loop on it So I'll go ahead and go and do that now. Alright guys, as you can see, I've already top stitched them on the, on the line that I marked earlier. As you can see how beautiful this came out. So I place it back on it now. I'm just going to go and join the shoulder. Then I'll shape it and add the sleeve. I'll con the dress and I'll come and show you the final look of it all right guys this dress is finally ready as you can see how beautiful it came out this is it so this is what you always get if you subscribe to this channel please don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that whenever I post a new video you can get notified and come and watch again Thank you so much for watching. Please kindly like, comment, and share. God bless you. See you in my next video. Bye for now.